In a programming by demonstration framework, the robot learns new skills by observing multiple demonstrations of a similar task. In the demonstration phase, the robot observes the user performing the skill. In the encoding phase, a probabilistic model encapsulating the essential features of the gestures is created or updated. In the reproduction phase, a generalized version of the gestures is retrieved by a dynamic simulator or by the robot. We consider different teaching modalities. Firstly, the user performs a demonstration of a gesture while wearing motion sensors recording his upper body movements. Secondly, the user corrects the movement by moving the limbs of the robot to their correct postures through time. In the encoding phase, a latent space of motion is found by linearly projecting the data onto a subspace of lower dimensionality using principal component analysis. Recognition of the gesture is performed in this latent space. If the gesture is not recognized by the existing models, a new model is created. A probabilistic representation of the data is then learned by estimating a Gaussian mixture model. Gaussian mixture regression is used to reconstruct a general form for the signals. Finally, the retrieved data are projected back in the original data space. To illustrate the approach, we consider a scenario where a human teacher provides a demonstration to the robot learner, while wearing motion sensors. The robot first reproduces a copy of the demonstrated motion, while the coach detects visually the motion parts that needs to be corrected. Due to the different embodiment between the robot and the user, we see that the robot fails to reproduce the skill. The coach demonstrates the gesture again, using kinesthetic teaching. The robot reproduces some parts of the motion while the user helps the robot to move correctly its limbs. A Gaussian mixture model is created using the two different types of demonstrations, and a generalized gesture is retrieved by the robot. We see that the task is correctly reproduced but still needs refinement. By demonstrating the task again, the model is updated by expectation maximization algorithm, according to a learning rate. The refined model is then used to regenerate a new gesture. This time, the task is reproduced skillfully.